I'm going to the Crane Mansion to get Ethan to admit that he loves me. Teresa, Teresa. No, okay? Gwen and her mother are there. And they've already warned you once to stay away from Ethan tonight. And that was when they only suspected you were after him. Come on. Whitney's right. I hate to think what will happen when they are certain of your intentions. I mean, there is no way that you can win a fight with them. Teresa, the Crane and the Hotchkiss family will use all of their power to make sure that Ethan marries Gwen just as planned. I don't care, Mama. When it comes to Ethan, I have more power than they do. I have the power of love on oh, my side. Por favor, Teresita. Mama, I love Ethan, and I am sure he loves me. I just, I just have to get him to admit it. I forbid you to go to the Crane Mansion. Whitney, please take her home and stay with her. I must check on Mrs. Crane, and when I come home, I want to find you in bed asleep. Mama, please. Teresa, I mean it. Stay away from Ethan. Well, where do you think you're going? I'm going to see Ethan. Did you not hear what your mother just said? She told me to take you home. Wait, I heard every word, and I know Mama means well. But, but she just doesn't understand. This is about love. My love for Ethan and his love for me. And I am not afraid of Gwen or her pit bull mother. The only thing I am afraid of is losing Ethan, and I am not about to let that happen. Teresa, please, just stop and think about this before it is too late. Before you get yourself hurt. Gwen and her mother can threaten me all they want. They wouldn't feel that they had to if they didn't think that Ethan has feelings for me, too. They're worried, Wit. That's why they're trying to keep me away from Ethan, but I won't let them. I have come too far to turn back now. I told Ethan I love him. And now it's time for him to choose between Gwen and me. But what makes you think he's going to choose you, Teresa? Because he loves me. When you told him you were in love with him, he didn't say, I love you back. He didn't have a chance. I mean, not with Gwen around. But after the prom boat sank, he left Gwen to save me. Okay, it's all right. Thank you. Me. Ethan may lie to Gwen about how he really feels. But I know when we're face to face, when he looks me in the eyes, he'll tell me the truth. Ethan will tell me that he loves me. When you look at all these cars, Teresa, this house is full of people. Look, let's just go home before Gwen or her mother or your mother sees you. Look, in the morning, you'll be glad you did. Come on. Wait, no. I came to see Ethan, and that's what I'm going to do. How do you think you're even going to get near Ethan, much less see him alone? I know a place where I can have Ethan all to myself. His bedroom. Teresa, no, no, no. What? After Gwen leaves, I'm going to sneak up the back stairs to his room. Once Ethan and I are alone together, I know he'll tell me he loves me. What'd you do tonight, Whitney? Okay, well, let's see. I almost drowned on my prom boat. Went with my insane friend, Teresa, to chase after some guy that she's totally obsessed with, hoping upon hope that he'll admit that he's in love with her. And choosing me over Gwen, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, it has been a long, exhausting night for both of us. We'll, we'll get more rest if I just sleep at home tonight. You're probably right. Okay. I'll call you in the morning. <clears throat> I just want to, I just want to tell you again how sorry I am for making those ridiculous accusations against Teresa. I know now that I couldn't have been more wrong about her intentions toward you. Gwen, I, I'm just glad you calmed down. <laughs> Me too. God, it would have been awful if I'd gone over to Teresa's and ripped her to shreds thinking she was in love with you. Well, here, I'll, I'll walk you downstairs. If my father tries to stop you and talk. He's had way too much to drink tonight. It's more obnoxious than you do. Well, thanks for offering, but don't bother. I can just take the back stairs. Oh my gosh, we're done for. This is 
that, Teresa. I mean, Gwen won't buy any excuse that you can come up with for being here. She'll know that you came here to see Ethan, and then she's gonna kill you. I left my purse in Ethan's sister's room when I borrowed these clothes. Can't leave without that. Teresa, fate's on my side. I can feel it. Look, the only thing I feel are butterflies in my stomach, Teresa. I'm out of here before I get thrown out, okay? Aren't you coming? Are you crazy? Ethan is finally alone. This is my chance to talk to him in private. Alright, fine. Well, just call me when you need me to bail you out of jail. I do your body at the morgue when Gwen kills you. Oh, wait, me. Nothing bad is going to happen. Gwen is going to go home to see your queen of me, mother, and then I'll see Ethan. And when I call you, it'll be to tell you that Ethan and I will be together. And that he loves me, Wit, and not Gwen.